markets. Okay, so expecting the markets to come off a little bit. What does that mean, come off? It means equity markets to fall probably on the back of profit taking. There's been a hell of a rise recently over the last five days and previous to that 13 days. And obviously since January this year, markets have gone up significantly. So you can expect some profit taking as far as equity markets are concerned. Probably see the Dow float down to around about the 34,800 level, about 700 points over the next week or so. Remember, we're going into the summer months and the summer, you get junior traders trading. The senior traders go off for two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks into the mountains in the U.S., and uh, therefore, you're going to have a bit of erratic and volati volatile trading. Uh, the NASDAQ has gone up significantly this year. Um, in the last few days, it's gone up also, all on the back of AI chat GBT, which has been a big drive as far as the NASDAQ is concerned. If you were to take away the chat GDP or the AI out of the equation, then you probably could end up having the NASDAQ coming off dramatically. That has been the driving force, excuse me. So um, expect the NASDAQ to come off also. I'm expecting anywhere between a 3 and 5% drop over the next week or so. DAX, I expect the DAX also to come off significantly, but significantly to fall around about five, 600 points over the next week or so, again, due to profit taking. You've got interest rate rises coming into the UK on Thursday, expect a 25 basis point rise as far as the UK is concerned. However, we're not too sure where we're going after that. We're not sure if rates are going to rise any further. Or is the MPC, the Bank of England, going to pause, take a break and see what lies on the horizon? Expecting inflation to continuously trend, continue trending down. That will take pressure off the Bank of England and obviously off other central banks when it comes to looking at interest rates. Interesting one to look at is Bitcoin. Now, when Bitcoin was 31,700, I said it's going to go to 35,000 at that time. And one of my uh, viewers said it's going to go down. And he was right. It went from 31,500. It's now below 29,000. One of my other viewers believes it's going to go to 15,000. I somehow can't see that happening. But with more and more regulation coming out and CBDC, the central bank digital currency, trying to take a grip, hopefully it will not get there. Otherwise, we're going to lose complete independence, freedom and liberties because the whole thing is going to be taken over by governments. But um, Bitcoin is trending down. Bitcoin is a high-risk investment. And normally, on a high-risk investment, when you have the NASDAQ and equity markets moving up, then you probably also get something like Bitcoin moving up as well. But it hasn't participated in the party. And that is something that's very interesting. So it could test the 25,000 um, if... My one of my viewers said it's 15,000 below. If it falls below 25,000, then yes, it's going to go all the way down to 20,000 and maybe even lower. That's my overall take on Bitcoin. Uh, looking at foreign currencies, dollar weakness, expect further dollar weakness going forward uh, simply because it looks like interest rates have capped in the US. Uh, you've got Apple results out uh, this week. You've also got Amazon. Uh, they could drive the Nasdaq higher if they come in above. What's expected considering that Apple and Microsoft make up nearly 25% of the NASDAQ. So any big move on Apple is going to push the NASDAQ higher. And um, talking about real estate, um, you can expect residential property to continue falling uh, 2023 into 2024 as more and more mortgage holders and property owners have difficulty paying those mortgages as rates rise. It's becoming a lot more expensive to hold on to the properties. So anyone who's buying a property now has got a good at least a 10% immediate negotiating reduction on property if you're in real estate. Oil is trending up to $85 a barrel, and that's mainly due to the Saudi and the Russian OPEC cuts in production. That is going to increase the price of oil, cut production, and you're going to have rising oil. That could factor into inflation um, because oil and energy 
is a major component of inflation. So obviously, as oil ticks up, you're going to end up having inflation ticking up as well. It's not yet priced into inflation, but that should be one to keep an eye on as far as oil. Gold, gold stuck in the middle of there uh, between 1900 and 2000. It's got to break out that range either way downwards or upwards for us to get any indication which direction it's going in. Um, so gold at the moment is 1950, 1953. Um, I can't really tell you which direction it's going to go in um, until it hits one of those. So it's a sell at 2050 and buy at 1900. Um, that's more or less it as far as driving markets is concerned. Not a lot to report. Let's wait and see what happens in equity markets as far as Apple and Amazon is concerned. But my view is that we are trending down. Catch you later. That's trending down short term, not long term. Okay, short term trending down in case any viewers want to catch me out. Have a good day.